Welcome back. Uh, this is a reference to the Trojan War. So this is the husband of Helen, Helen of Troy. Menelaus' wife was taken, although maybe she wanted to go, by Paris, who was the prince of Troy. So what should he do? Should he try to get revenge, which is really a private desire, or should he be a good king to Sparta? So if he goes after his wife, a war starts. Is that good for Sparta? In the end, he allows his emotions to, to pull him in. In order to actualize the public good, you're going to have to give something of yourself. And Menelaus, for complicated reasons, becomes a very um, poignant example of that. What's true of Menelaus is true for every citizen. Any public office um, requires a personal sacrifice. What you decide to do has an effect both on the private and the public sphere, and your decisions have to reflect the balance of those two. You could argue he's an example of what happens when you don't achieve that balance, hence looking into directions, public, private. For the purposes of the notes, we have two things that we're looking at. We're looking at the marketplace and the forum, but they are separate things that require separate attitudes and separate skills. Uh, the art of decision making versus the art of the bargain. And you have to develop both if you want to live in this world in a productive way. Problem is, the way that we teach young people is really focused on the marketplace, attitudes and skills. So what's the difference? In the art of the bargain, the goal is, as you identified, to maximize your self-interest, maximize the utility uh, of the transaction. So that's one thing, and those skills are important, and it will allow you to thrive in the marketplace. But they are not going to serve you when it comes to politics. And if you want an example, think of Donald Trump. Let's assume he's a master when it comes to the art of the bargain, although I'm not sure if that's true. But let's assume that that's true. Look at how that turned out. I would argue it's been a total mess. And it's not a mess by accident. It's a mess because he doesn't have the attitudes or skills associated with the forum. How to arrive at the decision. You have to make a decision. That's the annoying thing with politics. In real time, using imperfect information, in the context of a bunch of people that disagree with each other, how can you um, make the best possible decision? And it's a learned skill. It's a persuasion with the common good as its exclusive purpose. So you have to realize that they're competing attitudes and skills. When you develop the one, it comes at the expense of the other. Now comes the trick. If you allow the art of the bargain to flow into the forum, which is exactly what's happened, it is a corrosive thing. You are weakening and destroying the forum. Famously, Trump got elected because he was going to drain the swamp, right? But he is a function of the swamp. Why? Because he introduced the art of the bargain at the highest office for the first time in American history. Never before has there been a president like that. A democracy, if it's if it's committed to actualizing itself, has to excise the art of the bargain, remove it completely. It, is, it has no place in the form, no place. He's basically saying part of the reason why we don't understand what a democracy is is because we conflate the categories. That's why America is in the position it's in. That's why Canada is in the position it's in. We've allowed these snaky, weaselly things in places that don't belong. I get very passionate about these things, sorry, but it's because I want you to understand this is not a game. It's a massive challenge to achieve a balance. Very, very difficult thing to do. I certainly ask myself this question quite deeply. 
my uh, version of it, in a way, has to do with my professional vocation. It itself is an expression of a relation to democracy. Um, and I think it, you have to ask yourself deeply how you want to relate to this thing. So it's not like uh, you should never develop the art of the bargain. That's not what he's saying. As you develop the one, it comes at the expense of the other. And that's an observation. The, the problem is, because our education systems have succumbed to the seductive forces of the art of the bargain, you now as a student have to navigate that. So as you make your choices, keep these categories in mind. Sometimes the one looks like the other. We conflate them quickly. Mm -hmm. So sometimes if you're really good at the art of the bargain, the decisions you're making have to do with the marketplace. If you take that same person and you put them in charge of a political decision, the right decision interferes with their private interests. This person becomes horrible in, in terms of power because the, their entire mind and heart is organized around maximizing utility for me and mine. That doesn't make somebody a good decision maker. As a human being born into the moment that you're born into, of course you're going to occupy the marketplace a lot of the time. And you're going to occupy the forum some of the time. Forum used to be easy to spot. It was a physical place. Today's forum is a tricky thing because it's not just a physical place, right? The forum is when you pick up your device, technically. Uh, so the nature of the forum has changed, which makes things really complicated. The result is that we've conflated bargaining and decision making at an all-time level. <laughs> In part because they're not difficult to conflate. First, the, the one comes at the expense of the other, so whichever one you kind of get pulled towards, and of course self-interest, we're animals at the end of the day, right? So like, there's certain things that you want and the art of the bargain helps you get them, which one are you gonna go for? So, But little children wanna do that as well. If you eat all the cake, kid, by yourself, your friends are gonna kinda get pissed off at you, right? <laughs> Plus, you're gonna have some problem with type two diabetes. Anyways, <laughs> my point is, you have, to, you have to recognize that it's a childish, sort of instinct, all, all of us have it, obviously, but you grow up, you mature, right, supposedly, and you learn that it's not just about me first, it's about we need, right? So we've conflated it because they're easy to conflate, maybe there's biological reasons for why we conflate the two, uh, but now we have also a technological um, development that has produced uh, conflation. We're stuck with it. So if that's true, what we have to learn to do is navigate it. Yeah, so he's, he's basically saying, what, how do you start to navigate it? Well, you have to separate the categories, right? The ideas associated with it. The, the existence of the marketplace requires that you develop attitudes and skills that serve the marketplace. But you also exist in society, and that requires attitudes and skills of you as well. So you have to adapt to both things, but realize that you're in charge of keeping the balance between those two. And if there's an imbalance, um, we suffer for that. Ultimately, you suffer as well. You saw the statistics that we're looking at, the climate change stuff, right? This is not some kind of an abstract argument here. We have a very short window of time. In the end, there's no magic. It's on this generation of people to solve the big problem. That's what I think. And if we don't do it, no one will do it. And when I say we, now back to the accident of birth. If you are born into a secure place, a privileged place, a rare place, you have to absorb this. <laughs> because if you don't, we're toast. And the claim is this, the, the public sphere and the rules associated with it are what you have to live with and under, right? Now in that context, there's a place for you to pursue your private interest. Like, if you, if you like the cake analogy, you can enjoy your slice of cake. <laughs> and it, it's delicious, right? Of course it is. Um, so it's not like you're not gonna have a private interest, nor is it that you shouldn't pursue your private interest but it has to occur inside of a, a space that allows for all of us to 
live, hey. 